everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica on today's video. We're gonna be doing a throwback Thursday, doing a fall look using the Pixie by Petra and it's Judy Time palette. Now I'm not even sure that this is still available. I know I had seen it at uh, TJ Maxx a couple months ago and I don't believe it's still at the Target. So this is probably a palette that you can't get and maybe that's something that you guys don't want me to do so if, if there's ever a palette that I'm considering for throwback Thursday and you can no longer get it and you would rather me not do a throwback Thursday on it please put that in the comment section down below uh, because I'll definitely make sure that I don't do that in the future um, most of my palettes are palettes that are are you know continuing it's it's not typically something like this where it is a limited edition um but i wanted to use this palette today because it is a very good palette if you have it in your collection i just wanted to remind you of how good it is and at least i think it is i remember it being a good palette <laughs> so anyway i wanted to pull this out one last time for one last video and do a throwback thursday on it um it is a nice palette i'll show it to you up close it's got a lot of warm tones in it and I'm gonna use this today uh, don't mind my foundation it is one of my October foundations in fact this is the Fenty Beauty foundation It is a little bit pale for me um, I tried to darken it up with some powder um, I don't think it really worked very well and then on top of that I put a dark lipstick on which makes me look even paler yet I'm using this lipstick from Stila this is the stay all day magnificent lipstick in bonbon and that's the shade right there pretty dark um, but yeah I did try to bronze it up a little bit using uh, Tarte Park Ave princess bronzer I'm not sure that I was very successful with that but Anyway, we will go ahead and get the eye look done. How about that? So this is a palette that I actually picked up after watching uh, Jam Beauty 89, Jessica Braun. She was raving about this palette, saying that it was really, really good. I picked it up and then I think, I don't know, maybe three months later, they started to put it on sale and kind of discontinue it. Uh, but Pixie does have um, rolling... Uh, um, palettes and so forth they do collaborations with and this was a collaboration with it's Judy time like I said I think this is a really good one um, right now in my target there's the I don't remember wh who, who the youtuber was or who the collaboration was with but the palette that replaced this is currently on clearance at my at my target I just saw it there yesterday or the day before can't remember which um, these do have shade names on it so I'm gonna go in with this shade here which I believe is good morning and I'm going to put that all over my lid. All right, I'm going to go in with the shade right below it, which I believe is called Tutu. It's this shade right here. I'm going to start working that into my crease. And while I do that, I just want to talk to you guys for a minute. Um, I'm wondering what you guys prefer. Do you prefer me to do more of like a get ready with me in doing these where... Um, I talk a lot more or do you prefer me to do something like I've been doing with these uh, foundation or with these throwback Thursdays where I don't really talk very much while I'm putting the makeup on I just tell you what I'm doing um, I know that that makes the video a little bit shorter but I'm not sure what you guys prefer do you prefer me to do a talk through um, I can definitely do it either way I've been thinking about doing like a Q&A session here soon if you're interested in that uh, I'm also thinking about doing a live stream with John and doing like a Q&A live stream kind of a thing um, so I'm open to that as well just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see. Um, I can definitely like, you know, you know, tweet about it and, and which I do have a Twitter. I don't really use it very often, but it's at Epic Beauty Fail. Um, if you all are interested, I do have an Instagram. I could post it on there as well. Again, Epic Beauty Fail is my, my Instagram. Um, I actually have them linked in the description bar at all times, so if y'all are interested and you just want to click on the link, you can do that. Um, I don't really post a lot on my Instagram. I keep meaning to do more over there, but I, I, I don't know. You know, because I work a full-time job and I have three YouTube channels, um, 
I just, I, I often am filming like pre-filming by like a week or so. And I feel like it would be really weird if I like, you know, I'm post, I'm recording this video on Monday night and it is posting on Thursday. Um, so would it be really weird for me to like take a picture and post it on Monday? Would it be better for me to just take a picture and wait until Thursday and post it? I don't know. I just, I'm not as familiar with Instagram. So, you know, if you guys have any feedback on that, if you guys are even on Instagram and would like me to start using it, I know I do have some followers over there. I just don't post very often. In fact, I think it was June or July the last time I posted on my Instagram when I was on vacation. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's been a little bit more recent than that, but I've been wanting to get back. I, I've been wanting to get more into Instagram. When I first started my channel, I was posting on Instagram pretty regularly, actually. Pretty much every single time I posted a video, I would post a video on, or post a picture on Instagram. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in that. Okay, I actually like that shade. Okay, um, I think what I'm going to do is then go into the shimmer shade here in the middle, which is Getaway. And I'm going to pack that all over my lid. Okay, that shade is almost identical to the matte beside it, which I think, again, was 2-2. So they actually complement each other really, really well. I am going to go over that shade, though, with the uh, this shade here, which I believe is Snowflake. And I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to use the other side of the brush, pick up a little bit of the Snowflake shade, and just go over this just to lighten it up just a hair. I don't know that it's going to do too much, but we'll see how it looks. All right, I'm going to go back to my um, tapered blending brush. I'm going to go into the brown shade right here, which is, looks like it's dark chocolate. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the outer corner of my eye. It got a little away from me over here. Definitely got a little bit darker on my left side than on my right side. Oh, well, it's okay. I'm going to take a little pencil brush and go into Snowflake again and just put that on my inner corner. And then I'm probably going to use this brush just to put a little bit of color on my lower lash line. Okay. I'm going to go into the shade Dark Chocolate and put that on the outer edge of my lash line. And then I'm going to just actually flip my brush around and go into Tutu there and put that on the inner portion of my lower lash line. <laughs> With my really pale skin, I'm looking very, very vampy. Yeah. All right. I do enjoy this palette. It's actually a really nice palette. If you haven't gotten it, I don't think it's still available. You might still be able to find it at like a TJ Maxx or a Ross or something like that or Marshalls. Um, but I really enjoyed this palette. Again, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to just steer clear of discontinued palettes. I don't have too many of them. Uh, I was thinking about doing a Throwback Thursday with my Kat Von D holiday palette from 2017. I did not pick up her holiday 2018 palette, um, but I thought about it. I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Um, do you think I should be doing more on Instagram? You know, do you follow me there? Uh, Twitter, I used to be addicted to Twitter. I really used to be addicted to Twitter. Um, I wouldn't necessarily be tweeting, but I used to go on there like every hour at like at work and everything. And this is a couple years ago. This is like, I'm trying to think how long ago this would have been. This would have been probably about four or five years ago. I'm trying to remember the, you know, where I was working at the time. It probably would have been about four years ago, maybe five years ago. And I used to go on Twitter every single hour because you get so many tweets during that hour that I was like always afraid I was missing something. And at one point I just stopped going on Twitter because... I was always feeling like I was missing something and I was I would sit there for like 10 minutes and just scroll through tweets of people I followed and I didn't follow a lot of people like I literally only followed oh I don't know maybe two dozen people actually I should actually look real quick 
um, I didn't follow a lot of people and, um, I just, I was always, always, always afraid I was going to miss something. So like I would go on Twitter and I would just sit on Twitter for like 10, 15 minutes, just scrolling through tweets. And yeah, that's not, that's not a good use of my time. You know, um, let me see. Trying to see if I can figure out how many people I, I follow on Twitter. Can I even tell how many people I follow? I follow 63 people. That's how many people I follow in my, like my personal account. Not my Epic Beauty Feel account, but my personal account. Um, I did get a little bit of transfer on my mascara, so I'm going to clean that up real quick. But I used to like just, I, I mean, I know I'm rambling at this point, but I used to spend a long time on Twitter. And it just got to the point that I was always like, I actually got like anxiety attack, not attacks, but like I would get anxious where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I missed somebody's tweet. And wh what if they put something really interesting and really cool and I missed it. And I just, I had to go, I had to quit cold turkey. I had to quit cold turkey. It was, it was, um, it was not good for me. So I stopped for a couple of days and I don't really go on Twitter very much, but I do like Instagram. I've actually gotten Instagram, uh, gotten into Instagram here recently, not like posting, but going on and looking at people's Instagrams. And, um, anyway, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you think I should be posting more on Instagram? Uh, do you want me to do a Q and a, do you want me to do a live stream? I know I, I talked about a live stream a little bit before and several of you said, Oh yeah, I'd, I'd come on a live stream. If you got, if you, you know, let us know in advance that you were going to do one. So, and I meant to do one in, in September. Uh, but then that day came and went and I never ended up doing it. And like John even agreed that he would do one with me. Um, and then I just never ended up, you know, putting it out there that I was going to do it. So, all right. I think that's going to be my look for tonight. I think that's going to be my, my look for tonight. My goal was to look very fall. And I think I accomplished that. I think I accomplished that. All right. I'm going to call John and I'll be right back. All right, dear. Let okay. me see this look. Here we go. What? Ooh, a little dark. Yes, I wanted to go very fall. Okay. That was my goal. Sorry, our dog is barking, but... Do you want me to shut the door? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and shut the door. So, I was trying to go very fall, mm -hmm. and I went with a darker... What did you say? I just pulled my hair, taking my glasses off oh. to clean them so I could see your stuff. So, I went with a darker lip, because I, I knew you would appreciate the darker lip. You always do. I do. Um, but that's that's kind of what I was doing. This is a Throwback Thursday. I'm using this palette, which I think is discontinued, so if you don't already have it, you're not going to be able to get it. But it is a good palette, and I was just wanted to, you know, like, bring it back out again and remind people how good of a palette it is. I think I, I did a pretty good job with my eye look, even though it's pretty simple. Yeah. But I was really shooting for a fall look, you know, and, you know, it doesn't help that my... Uh, foundation that I'm using is probably a shade or two too light. Um, you are quite white. Yes. Sure. But I just wanted to go with a fall look tonight. So yeah. what do you think? Well, I, you definitely can say that that's a fall look. It's, it's, um, autumn colors. Mm -hmm. It's, it's an orange, a burnt orange, uh, for and your And stay light. tuned. Uh, I think all my throwback Thursdays in October are going to be very fall looking. Fall look. I think so. I already have my palette for next oh, week already okay. picked out. I just haven't picked out the other ones yet, but for next oh. week I already have it picked out. Well, I definitely, I mean, I definitely see your inspiration. Mm-hmm. Um, it does, or it does, I, I, I guess it sort of does help a little bit in that because the foundation is very white, it makes the dark parts look even darker. Yeah. So it, it creates a lot of contrast for you. Mm-hmm. Um, it does look like you stuck some gold stuff on the inner eye. I did. On my inner corner, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you're definitely going for all the fall. Um, I mean, you could have... I mean, I guess if, if I were... If I'm going to give you a critique, you could have gone with a little bit of, like, brown eyeliner. I could have, yes. I could have darkened it up even more, yeah. Which would have made it super fall. Yes. Because you would have had orange, uh, brown, and red. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I mean, you're... The the one thing I will say about the the, the pale um, foundation foundation is that it washes out your highlight. I didn't use a very powerful highlight, oh, a very okay. bright highlight. I, well, then. I yeah, I, I used a highlighter and I was gonna go get a different one and put a second layer on, and I was right. like, 
no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and your contour is not very dark either. No. So, no. I mean, other than those things, I mean, it's like I said, I dig the look because dark eyes, dark lips, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff. All right. Still can't keep me awake, though. Anyway, if you all have any questions, like I said, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A. Leave those down below. Uh, if you'd like us to do a, a live stream, I told them I was thinking about doing a live stream with you and doing a Q&A there. I would be more than willing to do that. Maybe uh, later in October or maybe early November, uh, we could do a live stream. Um, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Did you ever get this palette? I would love to know. Uh, I know it was out for a very long time. It was out for for probably half a year, if not longer, maybe even a year uh, before they stopped selling it in my Target, at least. Um, but it was out for quite a while. So I do like it. If you have it in your collection, I would recommend taking it out and taking a look at it. Uh, I think it, it blends very, very well. I think it's, it's easy for someone with uh, uh, not too much experience. <laughs> Um, to definitely use and not make too much of a mess on their eyes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Again, I would love to hear any of your feedback. Uh, do you prefer a more chatty get ready with me style or do you prefer just a walk through look like I've been doing with these throwback Thursdays. I'd love to know which one you prefer. The walk through uh, less chatty videos are definitely a lot shorter than a full, full get ready with me. Um, but I'm open to doing either type of video, whichever you guys prefer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.